material science is pretty much just the study of every type of material. Basically, what you think you know about a material is actually just maybe 0.1% of what, what is actually a material. Because material science actually encompasses everything, all of the materials that we know. And it's not just the material, it's what's behind the material, it's how we apply the material. Well, actually, we encourage you to join the research group since you join the program. And with the research group, we have various research groups that one can join because we would like to expose other students to have the direct experience regarding both material science and also nano-engineering. A lot of professors, everyone is a specialist in their respective field. A lot of them, they ended up pursuing their PhD overseas. Let's say I have a professor who graduated from University of Chicago. Some graduated from Australia, and then we have professors who graduated from UK, such as like uh, Oxford and, and Cambridge. It's very beneficial for us because we, we get to learn and it can help us to decide what we want to do in the future. And they serve as a good contact for us if we want to pursue our master's or PhD. Everything, you know, about the lab works, about the facilities they are providing to us for the research and development. A lot of equipment and modernized machines are fully provided, so it is really convenient for my research work. I am studying about one of the semiconductor material, which is called IGCO, Indian gallium zinc oxide. It's mainly used for detecting of various volatile organic compounds in industrial safety controls to prevent the industrial accidents. It's tending to fields of healthcare or medical centers for new applications in um, personal healthcare systems and um, self-diagnosis electronic devices. Material science and engineering field is the field where we are at the interface between basic science and also the practical use. Some of the students who would like to set up their own company, if they have some idea, have some potential, for the commercial uh, application, faculty of science. Also realizing that and setting up the venture club, assisting the student in running their company. For venture club, Mahidon University support the knowledge and push our product to got the patent and then put to the real commercial customer. Our company is the electronic nose. We use the intelligent sensor produced by material that can detect the gas and warning when the gas leaks. All of things that have the smell, the electronic nose can detect. This technology has a lot of research, but in Thailand, we are only one that established the company. Now, we sell the electronic nose product to many industries in Thailand, such as company that produce the paper, skin pea, beer, and many factory of food. The knowledge that they have, I think they would fit very well anywhere they would like to go. If they would like to continue their education, I think going abroad or staying in Thailand shouldn't be difficult for them. If they would like to go to industry, that shouldn't be out of reach for them either. Or they would like to setting up their own company, they can also do that. So it's up to the student to choose to fit their uh, future need or to fit their, the objective of their life. Mm -hmm.